Hi guys, it's me again Rose from the Philippines. Coming back to you with the 8th installment on our How to Bead Letter tutorial series, which is this letter H over here. So for this project, I have a separate video of an introduction showing you guys some pointers to consider before working on this project. So for the letter H, we're going to need the following materials. A nylon monoline string that is 050mm, chalk beads or the acrylic rock beads that are 6mm, a keychain so you can turn it into a keyring so that you can turn it into a keychain, a pair of scissors to cut the string. Okay, so the dimension for the letter H is approximately 2 inches high and 1 and 3 fourth inches across. The suggested string length that I have for this is about 1 meter plus half an arm length. So basically, it is a, a cluster of 4 cubes that are formed in a sequence forming the shape of the letter. The uses are, as I have said, a keychain, a zipper pull for your bag. You can turn it into a name or a word as a decor to your house or an alphabet to teach your kids okay so to work on the letter H we're gonna first work on this uh, left column here so those are the things that you need to know uh, hi guys for this project I would also recommend that you use uh, beads that have big holes in them so that we can easily pass through our string so to start off we're gonna work on this a left column that is composed of five uh, cube clusters of four so take your one meter and half an arm length of string uh, you have to hold your first end on the right and uh, the other end on your left hand so first we're gonna put uh, three beads on our right string and then silicop this is a term I frequently use wherein we pass through our right string going to the left in that one bead and your left string going to the right also in that one bead we're gonna align both ends and we're gonna slide that one bead making sure that our left and right string are of equal length slide that one bead and then let it go to the other beads forming a cluster of four so to start off, we're gonna make 7 clusters of 4, so that is the first one. We're gonna make 6 more, so put uh, 1 on the right and 1 on the left. And then silicop to form the second cluster of 4 in our string. So now you need, I will show you once again, so put one on the right and one on the left and then silico and then you can do it on your own now making four more clusters of four okay and i will catch up with you after okay oh, guys so by now you may have made seven clusters of four on your string so you can count it on the side, there, so there should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 clusters of 4. And we have an excess of 2 because we're going to fold it so that we can connect it to the bottom cluster to make a cube. So we're gonna put one bead on the right string and one on the left. And we're going to find where we, where we are going to connect it. So this should be the top part now. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. On the top of the 5th cluster, we're going to select up there. We're going to pull our string. So now we have made the first cube for the column of the letter H. So we're just going to do that for the rest of the four clusters of four but first we're going to position our string to the upper part of the cube so insert it upwards just like so your first string first 
and then going to this bead here take your other string and go the opposite direction So now our bead should be coming out from the upper cluster of the cube. So here's where we're gonna form a cluster of four by putting uh, one on the right and one on the left and then silicone. So now you will see that we have that upper cluster of four that we are gonna connect to the lower part. So we're going to put one bead on the right and one bead on the left. And we're going to silicone up to the next cluster of four on the bottom part next to the first cube. Align both ends and pull your string making, making sure that the beads are not jumbled. So now we have made the second cube for the column part, okay? Okay guys, so now our string should be coming out from this here. So we're just gonna position it so that it will go to the upper part of the second cube. So insert it upwards, like so. Passing through this bead here. And then take your other string and go the opposite way. Our beads are a little bit loose at the moment, so you need to tighten as you go. So here's where we're gonna make a cluster of four first. So put one on the right and one on the left. And then silico. And we're going to connect it to the bottom cluster, so put one on the right and one on the left. And then we're going to sneak up to the bottom cluster for next to the second cube. Align both of the ends and pull your string. So now we have formed the third cube. So position again the, the string going upwards to the upper part of the third cube. Take your other string. And then position it on the opposite side the opposite direction and then we're gonna form now the fourth cube so put one on the right and one on the left to make a cluster of four first now we're going to connect it to the bottom cluster so put one on the right and one on the left and we're gonna silicone up to the cluster of four for the bottom part next to the third cube align both of the ends and pull your string make sure that your beads are not jumbled tighten as you go and now we have formed the fourth cube, okay? Okay guys, to continue on, now that we're here, we're just gonna position our right string first, going upwards to the upper cluster of the fourth cube. Take your other string and go the opposite way.
make a cluster of four first so put uh, one in the right and one in the left and then we're ready to connect it so put one on the right and one on the left and now we're gonna form or we're gonna form the last cube for the left column of the letter H so we're just gonna silk up here align both of the ends and pull your string so as to make the last cube for the column so now it should look like this so the next thing that we we are going to do is we're gonna position our string so that it will go to this inner bead here on the on the middle part of the column in order for us to make this uh, middle part of the letter H we're gonna make three cubes and then we're gonna first go upwards then we're gonna go back and form the bottom part of the right column of the letter H okay okay guys so our string should be coming out from this bead here and we're just gonna position it so that we're, it's gonna be coming out from this uh, side bead here so take first your first string and insert it to a series of beads So that it will go to the appropriate place so that we can start working on uh, the middle part of the letter H okay we're just gonna insert your string right here to your string because it is a little bit loose so you need to tighten it first take your other string insert it to a series of beads so that it will go the other way Okay, so just do that and I will catch up with you afterwards, okay?